Okay, leading on from yesterday's preview, we've got some pricing to discuss. And most importantly today, we want to look at the Cadia Stans Astra Militarum Army Box Set. So this is going to be £120 or €155. Euros. I think it's a really good deal, actually. So if we add up the contents of what's in here, and bearing in mind this is mostly new stuff, um, but updates of things that we've already received, I reckon the value of this based on the current pricing, so we've got shock troops here, so based on the pricing from the old shock troops, the new Sentinel, based on the pricing from the old Sentinel, uh, we've got a command squad, again, basing price on the old one. Um, I reckon that's around about 185 to pounds worth of stuff in this box. Uh, that obviously includes the codex and the um, the data cards and the transfer sheet and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, some decent savings to be here to make to be made here. Um, the thing that is new really is that there is um, the ordnance teams. Now there are teams like this available for Astra Militarum at the moment, but maybe with not not so much firepower as these guys are going to have. So all in all, it looks like a good set. Um, this, these items aren't going to come out individually until at least next year. Um, so given that this is a two week order window, it brings us towards the end of November anyway. So maybe not as long as you think before they come out individually, but yeah, certainly you won't be able to get them before new year. Okay. Orc Goth Rocker. He is going to be available for... Twenty-one pounds or twenty-seven euros, and that's all of the models that we've got coming out. Now we've got some Black Library stuff, which I'll get to in a minute. Some more Forge World stuff, the Doom Side Squadron. They look really cool. Um, for those of you who are still playing Aeronautica Imperialis, um, I almost jumped on board with it, but I played a few games with a friend of mine, and didn't enjoy it that much, so I never took it up. Then we've got White Dwarf, again, normal pricing from that, £6.99 or €9. Euros. It looks like it's quite heavy on Warcry this time. Then Black Library, we've got Cadian Blood Special Edition, that's a GW exclusive, so no pricing there. We've got Gaunt's Ghosts, that's £12.99 or €15.95. Euros. We've got the Krieg Paperback. That's eight ninety nine or twelve fifty euros. Witchbringer, eight pound ninety nine, twelve fifty euros. The Gobbo's demise. I can't remember. Is this a reprint? Did that come out last year? I am not sure. But anyway, the Gobbo's demise is seven pound ninety nine, or eleven euros fifty. Um, it says that it's a hardback as well, so seven ninety nine for a hardback. That's out. That's not their usual pricing, so that's cool. Battle of the Fang audiobook, so that will be Black Library, so no pricing on that. Bunch of Age of Sigmar character e shorts, so Anger and Ash, Crown of Flames, Blood and Sand, The Ancestor's Hall, and The Orphan of Pale Harbor. So no price on those, obviously, as well. Then we've got some French and German releases, and they are all they are all priced at um, euros only, obviously because they're not in the UK. So, San Cadian, thirteen euros. Cortez Darcia, fourteen euros. And Bellagera, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right at all. There's, that is nine euros. It appears. And that's it. There was one other thing that I picked up on, which was, <laughs> which was quite annoying, and it was to do with the Astra Militarum release. Um, and it was that there was an asterisk. Let's find that quickly. Uh, the army set is a 13-day pre-order window, meaning that it hit shelves on Black Friday. Something for you to be really thankful for. And it's got an asterisk. Now, that something for you to be really thankful for, followed by an asterisk, made me think, wow, maybe there's some more information or maybe there's like some sort of really cool deal around the corner. That asterisk is just to tell you that this set will not be coming out in Japan on time. So that'll be delayed in Japan. So yeah, I thought we were going to get something cool, but we are not. 
But that is today's pricing. Tell me what you think. Uh, there was a few kind of negative vibes in terms of the pricing for the last army set, which was last week, the Slaves to Darkness. Uh, worries that it didn't contain much value. This one is definitely better. Is it enough to make you jump in with the new Asher Militarum stuff? So bearing in mind that, to be fair, if you're going to get this stuff anyway, so if you're going to get the codex and pick up these units separately later on, Obviously, this is going to be a good deal to jump into, but is this a good place to start? Are you going to start a new army with this? Is it worth it? Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested to find out. Um, I'll be back with some reviews this week, so I'll probably be uploading my next content tomorrow. So thanks for sticking with me, guys, and I'll see you later.